Cataclysms are the wrath of the earth. Five climate changes that could happen tomorrow. Climate change, wildfires, frequent fires in the US, and other cataclysms today are all the true wrath of the earth. But why is this happening? In this video I will tell you about five possible earth cataclysms that could happen tomorrow. Because the earth was formed about 4.5 billion years ago, it has experienced dozens of major cataclysmic events, including supervolcano eruptions, comet and asteroid impacts, major tectonic shifts, exposure to cosmic radiation, and more. Waves of comets, asteroids, and even protoplanets rushed toward the interior of the solar system, and some of them crashed into the earth along the way. These impacts were so powerful that they melted the rocks on the planet's surface. Most of them occurred long before Homo sapiens ever walked the Earth. Some of these events were so violent that they directly opened up new geological periods. They were often accompanied by ice ages, mass extinctions, or, conversely, warming and ecological prosperity. These periods led to lasting major changes in the planet's species composition, continental structure and atmospheric composition. The Industrial Revolution has caused atmospheric carbon concentrations and ocean acidification to increase much faster than can be explained by cyclical changes. Ocean acidity has increased by 30% and CO2 levels by about twice the pre-industrial levels, putting tens of thousands of species at risk. These are animals that humans are driving to extinction. The planet's flora and fauna are now dying off much faster than is normal in nature. Scientists have warned that we may be in the midst of a sixth major extinction, which, unlike previous extinctions, is human-caused and could worsen if human-related greenhouse gas emissions continue unchecked. A volcanic eruption is an impressive and terrifying sight. It spews lava and millions of tons of ash and rocks into the blackened sky. Mexico's fire volcano, Mount Kalima, recently began to erupt, again, a reminder of the spectacular destructive forces nature can unleash. But as dramatic as the online footage of this Mexican volcano is, the eruption is nothing compared to some of the little-known predicted natural disasters. From supervolcanoes to high megatsunamis, these catastrophic events could affect millions of people and happen sooner than you think. 1. Indonesia's Forgotten Supervolcano The threat posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano in the United States is well documented. What is less well known or acknowledged, however, is that it is only one of many catastrophic threats to the planet. The Lake Toba supervolcano on the Indonesian island of Sumatra is now home to the largest volcanic lake on Earth, formed 74,000 years ago, when it last exploded in the largest eruption in 25 million years. About 2,800 cubic kilometers of volcanic ash and lava are estimated to have been released into the atmosphere, 12% more than what was released by Yellowstone's last eruption 2.2 million years ago. We believe in experts. We believe that knowledge should drive decisions and it could blow up again. As with any super eruption, the huge amounts of ash and sulfur dioxide produced could have devastating effects on the global climate. But a number of factors make the prospect of Toba's super eruption far more frightening than the eruption in Yellowstone. Toba is located on the densely populated island of Sumatra, home to more than 50 million vulnerable people, and is only 40 kilometers from the Indian Ocean, where catastrophic tsunamis could certainly occur, of which we have recent experience. In addition, in recent months, reports of volcanic gases and surface heating have led to speculation that the sleeping giant may be waking up again. 2. A sharp decline in Hillen. Forget the well-publicized megatsunami threat associated with the potential eruption of the Cumbervieja volcano on the island of La Palma and the Canary Islands. Much more dangerous is the possible eruption of the southern part of Kaloya volcano on the big island of Hawaii. The name Kaloya means erupting, i.e. active. The age is determined to be 25,000 years. The continuous eruption began in the 1980s. Any bursts of volcanic activity are closely monitored by researchers at the Hawaii Volcano Observatory, so that in the case of increased activity, it is possible to take the necessary safety measures in time. Although, what kind of measures can they be? Only the evacuation of people. Before such a force of nature, people are absolutely powerless. This eruption could cause 12,000 cubic kilometers of rock to fall into the Pacific Ocean, creating a megatsunami that would spread around the Pacific Ocean and reach the west coast of North America in a matter of hours, flooding coastal communities. There is evidence that a similar collapse in nearby Mauna Loa about 120,000 years ago caused a tsunami with a wave height of over 400 meters. Even more recently, in 1975, the collapse of Helena caused a smaller but destructive tsunami that reached California. Given that the volcano is constantly active 
and on the move, it may only take one tremor from an earthquake in the tectonic layers of the Earth to set in motion this catastrophic chain of events. 3. Tsunami in the North Sea. The North Sea may seem an unlikely place for a destructive tsunami, but climate change has raised fears that an underwater landslide in the region could do just that. The precedent is there. Scientists have suggested that more than 6,000 years ago, a dramatic rise in sea level associated with climate change and rapid ice melt added weight to the underwater glacial deposits at the edge of the Norwegian continental shelf, destabilizing them and causing a 300-kilometer-long landslide crash. The resulting tsunami reached heights of up to 20 meters in the Shetland Islands, 10 on the Norwegian coast and 6 meters off the north and west coasts of Scotland. If the Earth experiences such rapid climate warming again, and experiences the associated melting of the Greenland and or West Antarctic ice sheets, a similar event today affecting the coastal populations of Scotland and Norway, about 3 million, is quite possible. And possibly even in London. 4. The Great Cascade. On the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, near the west coast of North America, and from Northern California to Vancouver Island, is the subduction zone, the place where the bottom of the Pacific Ocean is displaced beneath the land of North America. Subduction is a geologic process that occurs at the convergent boundaries of tectonic plates, where one plate moves under the other and is forced to sink because of the high potential energy of gravity into the mantle. The areas where this process occurs are known as subduction zones. The rate of ocean floor movement here is currently only 40 mm per year, but the top of the system is currently stuck, which means that the North American plate is being compressed. At some point, the pressure created must be released, and this will be in the form of a massive earthquake, possibly up to magnitude 9. This could cause the coastal zone to sink 2 meters and possibly shift horizontally. Shortly after the intense shaking subsides, the coastal community will be hit by a tsunami that could eclipse the 2011 Japanese wave. About 7 million people live in this region, from Vancouver and Seattle to Tacoma and Portland. How likely is it? Scientists have estimated that over the past 10,000 years, the region has seen 41 major earthquakes with an average interval of 244 years, the last one was a magnitude 9, and that was 315 years ago. 5. Extraterrestrial Threat Perhaps the greatest threat to the modern world is our own star. Periodically, the sun emits a solar flare a powerful cloud of energetic photons and particles with the energy of millions of hydrogen bombs exploding simultaneously. Once released, these clouds reach the Earth's upper atmosphere within a day or two, and in many cases most ordinary people on Earth do not feel it. However, if it is intense enough, a solar storm can destroy electrical systems both in orbit, such as satellites, and on the ground, as energetic electrons cause a buildup of charge. One of the largest known events occurred in 1921, when the U.S. telegraph service failed, but scientists have calculated that, if a similar event were to occur in today's technologically dependent society, it could take out many satellite systems, disabling global communications, the internet and global positioning systems. Chaos could ensue. Solar flare intensities fluctuate over a roughly 11-year cycle, and fortunately, in 2014 the last peak came and went without significant consequences. We can only hope that the same can be said for the future. What do you think is the threat to our life on Earth? Write about it in the comments. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like. And also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.